Hello there. Now, at the time of recording this reaction, I have uploaded episode 12 of Breaking Bad Season 4, and today we are up to episode 4 of Season 5. What a journey it has been. And I'd just like to thank you guys for the wonderful comments you guys keep leaving in each video. And some comments, even though you guys criticize me, or just say, oh, I missed this, or dude, you misinterpreted this, I love those comments, because yeah, I do misinterpret things sometimes. It's my first watch, sometimes I get things wrong, I don't always get things right. And I love that, I love you guys pointing that out because I'm not perfect I'm not gonna get everything perfect on first go and nor do I think I am because this shows unpredictable characters are unpredictable and sometimes I do not understand characters the way you guys will understand characters everyone interprets things differently but you guys have seen the show enough times to understand things and yeah this is only my first time watching now upon rewatch I will notice certain things differently but I love you guys for that and I'd like to thank you for that so what's going on guys my name is Ellie Moses a 23 year old Lauren film student here from Sydney Australia shitty shot baby and today we are up to episode 4 of Breaking Bad season 5 titled 51 now I'm guessing this is a nod to Walt's 51st birthday which Marie uh, mentioned an episode ago so yeah let's find out what's in store for us this episode it's gonna be hella fun because Skylar is entering some sort of state of depression um, or anxiety and panic at the moment so it's gonna be interesting to see how things develop and Walt is I don't know, he's not focused on the home life at the moment. He thinks home life is happy dandy when it really isn't. So yeah, let's find out what's going to happen. I hope you guys are here to enjoy the reaction, and I am as well. So let's smash this thing. Let's go. Oh, uh, swapped out your air filter, topped off your fluids. Didn't have to replace the windshield this time. <laughs> no, right? The windshield survives. <laughs> and I noticed you had some sort of gunky buildup in the front end here. People like to joke that really really like this car she's sturdy as all hell i'm betting you get another two hundred thousand miles out of it we'll see about that <laughs> the heisenberg cat <laughs> Hey, Benny. What would you give me for it? Ooh. What's a blue book, you mean? No. I mean, what will you pay me for this car? Well, I'm not really looking for... Hundred dollars? Fifty? Insurance company just shelled out 1900 for the parts alone. And it's a bargain. You give me 50 bucks, and she's all yours. Are you sure about this? Sure as you. Oh man, the car's a staple. Check the register. <laughs> Dad? 50 bucks? Are you crazy? <laughs> does he think the car's... Nah, I'll... does he think the car's bugged? Nah, surely not. Unless he's just totally planning to buy a new car that like fits the character of Heisenberg. <laughs> we need to move around in style now. Ah, shit. Yeah, we got the Waltmobile now, baby. Forget the Batmobile. This is the Waltmobile. <laughs> hey, son, you can drive this around too. Don't worry. All right, Walter Jr. hurting, man. <laughs> nah, don't tell me. Nah. All right, I thought we, we hadn't got a different car. Uh, th that's more like it. <laughs> the black and red. And the dubstep music. <laughs> Breaking Bad meets Fast and Furious, baby. <laughs> Skylar inside probably having a panic attack and these two out here revving the engines. <laughs> they just dropped a shitload of cash on those cars. Oh man, it's hilarious. And I love how Walt right there, he was wearing black and red. Um, and then... Similar, Walter Jr. purchases a color scheme, a car with the color scheme of what he was dressed as. You know, he was clothed with the black hat and sort of like the reddish uh, button up right there. But yeah, that house, the style of that house, like the badassery of the house just went up. <laughs> Back to the car scenario. I mean, he sold the car for 50 bucks. Could that mean 
it's like a birthday present for him. He sold it for 50 and now that he's 51, he's like moving on and things like that. Um, and as well, like that car represents sort of like his past life in a way where now he's embracing the role of Heisenberg. There's no more Gus Fring. Let's, that's, that is one of the last remnants of me being afraid or me being fearful of Gus, this car. Um, we've done so much in this car, but that car is a part of my old life. It's now, it's now time to start a new chapter. You know, 51, baby, that one year tick over. Ah, I'm probably wrong, but like, you know, that Lydia? Yeah. I feel like she's gonna piss me off. <laughs> she does not have a good poker face at all. <laughs> it's Rodart Quail, Agent Hank Schrader, Agent Steve Gomez, DEA. Met briefly in uh, in Albuquerque. Yes, we did. What can I do for you? And she just ratted someone out. <laughs> no, to save her own ass. We can't our goals if we don't hold them. So, back to the Voranschlägen. Yeah. Yo, I'm telling you, if this girl had a FIFA card right here, her composure would be below zero. It'd be in the minuses, okay? <laughs> Ron's done. Okay. No. No. Not okay, Mike. Not okay. The, the look he just gave me was the very antithesis of okay. Okay? Okay. Lydia, no one's talking to the police. I just had, like... Team DEA agent barged into my office, screaming and yelling at me, and they were swarming all over the warehouse. They didn't scream and yell at you? The warehouse. Unless I missed something. Besides, Ron was my guy. Remember, I don't have a guy anymore. Ron fixed security and pulled the barrels and drove the truck. You can't expect me to do that stuff. I mean, let's be realistic. He's trying to get rid of everyone like, connected to her so she doesn't have to do anything anymore. This is crazy. I'll send a new guy. <laughs> oh, the Challenger. Is that a Chevy? I'm not the best with cars. They're crazy. <laughs> my my car always has 500 horsepower. It totally smooth. Horsepower is in everything. Don't you know that? You, you have to factor in drag and torque and sustain. Okay. Like, it's all fun and games listening to Walter Jr. and Walt here, you know, talking about dad and son stuff, about the cars, comparing cars. And it's actually good to see. Like, it's actually, like, I I'm happy for them. It's awesome. But that medium shot right there of Skylar dressed in black um, and the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the screen with how it was lit as well, sort of like this dark abyss consuming her. It's almost as if she's in mourning. Like, she's entering a deep state of um depression probably here and and it's a bad emotional state that she's going to descend into here because skylar's not getting the attention she needs and um yeah Extension and and weight of the car and listen one more factor that you're not thinking about the experience of the driver and please, i totally got please. you there <laughs> you, dri got you. you drive like a geezer <laughs> oh, I, really i drive like a geezer tell me can a geezer do donuts i don't think so Bullshit you ever did done it. Whoa, watch your language. Yes, I did. <laughs> He's got a challenger yes, now. He's got a challenger. <laughs> Show me just a modicum of respect. Maybe I'll teach you. Yeah? Yes? No. Yeah. No, I won't. Yes. Yeah. Just a joke. <laughs> you, you're saying No, yes. no, no. That was I, kidding. We didn't yes. shake on it. We, no. Yes, <laughs> we are now. Hey, this is the family count. time that Walt probably no needed proof. in the earlier seasons. But mine... We'll call a birthday present to myself. And Junior. A tax write off. <laughs> people will just chalk that up as me being a softy. You're back at it. Well, yeah. We have to make up that 600,000 we lost. I, I want to pause. I'm sorry to keep pausing, but every guy, everything you guys said about the IRS and Ted in the episodes I've uploaded thus far, like I said, I've only uploaded up to episode 12, of season four. These are all correct about the IRS. I just don't like the situation and how it ended up to being how Skylar got involved. Listen, she made the right call because no woman 
in her no woman should ever have to go what she went through okay with what her husband is doing okay and by her getting involved she had to make that call uh, and she had to make a quick judgment there but i just don't like the fact that she got involved and because of her getting involved she had to make that payment to the irs but yeah she was cooking ted's book so i guess even if she didn't get involved with walt she was gonna have to do something with ted or she would have taken the fall or something but like yeah you get what i mean you get what i mean but like um yeah thank you for guys for clarifying that but i i don't hate skylar i don't hate skylar like i know you guys are talking in the comments about like there's a, apparently a large portion of the fan base that hate skylar i don't hate her i don't hate her a lot like a lot of characters she pisses me off in this show sometimes but everyone makes decisions that piss me off it, like yeah <laughs> he's a year away from college why on earth would we do that i don't know i just just thinking about the kids. Oh. Holly did? Where are we sending our eight month old? B score? <laughs> no, I just. Yeah, a new environment might be good for them. What does that mean? I reckon Skylar needs the new environment. She's disgusted at this place, man. What's wrong with their environment? But there's absolutely. Nothing for you to be afraid of anymore, okay? I mean, clear sailing from here on out, I promise. I think she's afraid of the man that's Almost hugging her currently. Start looking forward to things again. Yeah, Walt's saying life is good like it's the Drake and Future song. Not that it's not that easy, baby. <laughs> We can't just hit play and stream it. <laughs> There's a lot of difficulties going on at the moment mm -hmm. that he ain't seen. Hey, mom, you forgot something. Dad's bacon. That's oh, okay. I can do it. No, no, mom has to. Ouch. Oh man. Well, it's sort of a tradition. Oh, 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 oh! That look. Watch this, Holly. Watch what she does with bacon. What is she doing? Oh, I thought she forgot she the bacon. Did. She just needs to. Fifty-one, yay! That, that's a pretty small one. Oh, kind of is. Just a little. <laughs> Yo, the treatment of your mother, Walter Junior. Ah, uh, now you're talking. Yeah, it's some piece of work, isn't it? Six feet under and half a face. He's still screwing with us. <laughs> uh, what's next? Skyla is a bomb waiting to explode. Burgermeister Meister Burger over here in Germany, five thousand miles away. You got, you got this guy. It's got to be someone in the in the middle. You know, some some of them we're missing. No way. Two up tight, two together. Maybe. She was wearing mismatched shoes. <laughs> together can she be? Yeah, she all over the place at the moment. Here you go, man. Could you give us a moment? Is this the new captain, I'm guessing? I gotta say, your work here has been stellar. But. It's really first rate. But. Thanks, sir. So much so that I'm wondering if it's time you made a change. You know I have to get back to El Paso. This office needs an ASAC. And I'm thinking we should be promoting from within. What do you say, Hank? You want it? Uh, case ain't closed. He's not gonna take it. Well. Considering my wife would murder me if I said no. So. Oh. Yeah. For what? Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I wasn't familiar with your game. <laughs> you uh, finish up for me? It's, it's my birthday. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. I probably have a... Birthday party waiting for me, you know, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Hey, uh, happy birthday. Thanks. Is Walt gonna become completely unbearable as the new top guy? Like, it's all about me, it's all about me, it's all about me. Like, I don't know.
Hey, then. Hey. Dessert and uh, chocolate cake is requested. He wanted a big bash. What's up? Me? <laughs> Thought you'd be more jazzed about the new job. Oh, I am, baby. I'm so proud of you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, keep <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't want another Walt situation. To who? Who? Your brother-in-law. <laughs> oh, the affair. <laughs> Are you going to give me a hint? It involves infidelity. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, shit. I know. Knew what? What did you what did you know? Well, I mean I didn't know what, but I've been saying it forever. Paul's second cell phone. <laughs> oh no, he's got it wrong, he's got it wrong. <laughs> Way ahead of you on this one. Way ahead of me. Well, it wasn't Walt. <laughs> Process of elimination. <laughs> Skyler? <laughs> Throw away the key. <laughs> No way. <laughs> hey. Hey, there she hey. is. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the fakeness going on here. Well, like, is it me or is it like the trajectory of the two main guys in this show or like the two main guys of the family is, is sort of going upwards at the moment, you know? Hank's able to walk uh, more on his own now. He just got a promotion. Um, he's investigating it better. He's got that lifestyle back in him. Um, and Walt's obviously positive Walt at the moment. It's all about me, Walt. Um, and the trajectory of the two women, um, Skylar and Marie, um, obviously Marie, uh, sorry, Skylar is going downhill way faster than Marie. But um, yeah, it's just hey, interesting. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Happy, Come on, uh, man. Happy I'm in the center lane, growing about 60. I had no choice but to just tear the butt out or just wah. So sweet. Yeah, you know, Highway Patrol is going to be sweet on it, too. Let me get their ticket quota in a month. <laughs> yeah, you don't help me out, right, Uncle? <laughs> now that you run the DEA. Oh, yeah, for my spoiled rat car wash millionaire nephew. Sure. Yeah. Make sure you get a cell with a view. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm out of here. Okay. Happy birthday. Thank you, buddy. <sighs> Congratulations again, Uncle Hank. Thanks. I'll see y'all later. All right. <laughs> Bye. Right, have fun. Drive safe. Hey, do you guys reckon a lot of people in this show need to be humbled? <laughs> Never. Hmm. Hell of a couple of cars there, Walt. Honey, for my next birthday, I'm going to take a page here from Walt and buy myself a jet plane. <laughs> <laughs> I overdid it a little. You can impound one. <laughs> These new lease rates, I mean, they're mighty attractive. Uh, all right, okay. Family time. Great dinner, Skylar. Mm. Mm. Those are some badass whipped potatoes, I'll tell you. You have to tell me how you get all the lumps out. How do you do that? A potato ricer. A ricer. You don't hand mash? This is so awkward. Oh. We need Walter Jr. back. He was the life of the party. <laughs> well, uh... Boy, it is. It has been quite a year, huh? Do you know that uh, it's almost exactly a year ago that I got my diagnosis? Jesus. Yeah, right? Yeah. Seems like longer. Yeah. It? No, it's, uh... Is she gonna jump in the pool? I think I was too scared, or too angry, or I don't know. I just wanted to quit. But you guys, you got me through it somehow. Kept one second. Going. One second. And that happened again and again and again. I mean, there were times when I was sure I was done for. 
I, I heard the little drip of water right there. Tyler, uh, Skylar dipped her toe into the pool right there. I heard the little droplets. But I love this scene right here, how it's like sort of centering on Walt. And the framing is this medium shot of Walt. But over his left-hand shoulder, Skylar's out of focus because it's racking focus on Walt. But I feel like in this scene right here, even though the attention is meant to be on Walt and what he's discussing, I feel like I've heard this already. I've heard this before. We've seen what he's gone through. And I feel like it's trying to draw attention to Walt, but at the same time, I'm focusing more on Skylar in this situation. What is she going to do? What emotions is she showing in her face behind, um, her, behind her back at the moment? Because only we're seeing her from the back. What emotions is she showing? Is she crying her eyes out and then she's going to fall in the pool um just to disguise that so she doesn't turn around i'm very intrigued and you see the camera slowly panning and zooming into walt but at the same time i'm still focused on skylar but then someone or something would come through for me and skylar i can't honey remember that first week of chemotherapy at night on the bathroom floor you said to me so sick it was rough going at first Let's we go. finally get the reverse shot this time she was right there of course putting wet washcloths on my forehead she's singing to me and this would go on and on day after day i just wanted it stopped skylar isn't that freezing Ooh, hey oh pool party <laughs> What are you doing, Skyler? Is this something out of a horror movie? Hey, uh, hey, Sky, maybe it's time to get out now. What do you think? Skyler? Hank asked you a question. You need to get out. Skyler? She's trying to drown herself? She's gonna come up, right? She has to. Did she see that water as an opportunity to sort of like block out all the noise? It's like another world. This, this individual here is such an interesting character. Nope. <laughs> like, uh, Armin Trout. Okay. Satisfied. <laughs> Prison guards. Uh, I don't get out. So, uh, where's the? Up there. Number 22356. That's. Oh, the methylamine. I raised from the inventory, so it has to be that one. Can you reach it? I like a forklift. Bumblebee! <laughs> I need Shia LaBeouf now. Bumblebee! Optimus! Wait, 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 stop! What? Please tell me that's not what I think it is. Is that a tracker? Tyler just lost and that's why she went into, like she doesn't know what to do at the moment she's just so lost she's in this fugue state she's gonna try and get some sleep okay what was that i don't know i mean was she trying i don't know in that swimming pool and with all of us there no nah, she wasn't trying to end herself no nah, that's too like on the nose like but uh we both um, think that she should talk to someone. Take that back. He knows. Amy never is. He knows I know. <laughs> uh. These things happen in a marriage. I can't. Absolutely. You look after him for a day or two, or however long, and leave you and Skylar to look after each other. Well, that's, that's very generous of you, Marie, but I... I <laughs> Hank's like, what? <laughs> that's a solution. And, I mean, besides Junior and Holly, I, that's that's a lot of work. No, it isn't. Junior's independent, and 
My niece is only the easiest, most delicious baby that was born. <laughs> Shout out, Holly. Right? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. yeah. He's like, fuck. I think it's a great idea. Just the thing for both of you. I don't want the children here anymore. I reckon she did it as a means safe. to get the children away as well. Skylar. Something so bizarre. I have talked about this repeatedly. It has never been more safe. Never been. A couple weeks ago, a man was coming to this house to kill us, to murder your entire family. You were in the crawl space, screaming. And I dealt with him. Right, Ep. It's over. It is not. You're right back in the meth business again. This is different. Now I'm running things. So wait, now that you're in charge, it's, it's, it's what? It's going to be smooth sailing from here on out? I don't see why not. I keep the work at work, Skylar. And nothing will ever impact you or the kids. You don't know that. You can't make that promise, Walt. I can promise you that Gus Frank is dead. And he was the threat. He was the danger. I thought you were the danger. You made a mistake and things got out of control. But you did what you had to do to protect your family. And I'm sorry. That doesn't make you a bad person. It makes you a human being. Stop it, Walt. Just... Stop. Go. No. I don't need to hear any of your bullshit rationales. I'm in it now. I'm compromised, but I won't. I will not have my children living in a house where dealing drugs and hurting people and killing people is shrugged off as shit happens. Okay, baby. Buckle up. Oppenheimer time. The bomb's about to go off. Let's go. We're back at it. Fine. But the kids stay away. And that's that. That's that? That's what? I got them out of this house. To a sleepover at their aunt and uncle's? They spend Sleep a over. day or two. Junior stays up late watching movies, and then what happens? We'll see. No, I'll tell you what happens. They come home to this house, to their parents who love them. No, I will not let our business endanger them. How many times do I have to say that they are not I said in no. I swear to God, I won't have them back here. What are you going to do to stop it? Whatever it takes. Everything in my power. Like what? I mean, specifically. What is your next move? My next move is maybe I hurt myself. Make it clear we need more time. That Hank and Maurice, we're still struggling. No more like you're still struggling. So maybe next time I have you committed. Put you in some inpatient facility while I take care of the kids myself. Is that what you want? Holy moly. So then maybe I show up with bruises on my neck. Give myself a black eye. They're trying to outsmart each other. Me when you found out about my lover. So you want to involve Ted. Oh, wow, well, that'll be fun. Bringing the police up to speed on all of that. But not as much fun as telling your 16-year-old son that his father is a wife beater. Also not a very good plan. What else you got? I could send Junior away to school. Oh. Well, here's the conversation. So, honey, I know you've only got one year left in high school, but I would love it so much if you would drop everything, leave all your friends behind, and go to boarding school in Arizona. Do you have any other ideas? Because I'm not hearing a solution to your problem. How are you going to save our kids from this terrible environment? I... What are you going to do? Or are you going to run off to France? Are you going to close the curtains, change the locks? I... This is a joke. Come on, Skylar. You want to take me on? You want to take away my children? What's the plan? I don't know. This is the best I could come up with, okay? I, I will count every minute that the kids are away from here, away from you, as a victory. But you're right. It's a bad plan. I don't have any of your magic, Walt. I don't know what to do. I'm a coward. I, I can't go to the police. I can't stop laundering your money. I can't keep you out of this house. I can't even keep you out of my bed. All I can do is wait. That's it. That's the only good option. Hold on. Bide my time. And wait. Insane. Sensational. What are you waiting for? For the cancer to come back. Damn! Damn! Woo! Shit! 
hey, you never wish that upon anyone, fam. Let it keep rolling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, scene end. Okay, now I can talk about. It. I I loved right there how, you know, like you saw how paranoid and sort of like it, it was almost as if um the house is sort of becoming like a mental ward for Skylar with the way she was um crawled up on the bed. She was like this, right? She was crawled up on the bed like she just got a beating or she's some sort of schizophrenic, right? She was. Crawled up on the bed like this, and as soon as Walt went to touch her, um, she obviously got out of the bed. Um, she did some sort of smooth transition to start standing up, and then you saw them going at it. They started exchanging words. They were launching missiles at one another, and it was like a level playing field. They were eye to eye, you know, comeback after comeback. But then you saw as the scene progressed, Walt started to assert his dominance, and then you saw Skylar retreat back to the bed. And then you see that shot with the level change in the eyes with Skylar looking up at Walt, and Walt sort of regaining that territory and asserting his dominance in that scene. Um, but then Skylar dropped that bombshell basically saying i want the cancer to come back i don't know, maybe the best thing here is uh, does she want walt to die or does she want walt inactive um oh man wow fantastic i'm getting flashbacks to apocalypse now with this scene with marlon brando <laughs> That's done. And I'm telling you, these days, chances of getting a new methylene hookup is rare, man. It's like Bigfoot, like unicorn rare. <laughs> You're giving me heartburn here. Jesse and Mike are just doing their day-to-day -day things. They're the cruising. <laughs> Why don't they put it inside where nobody would see it? Look, it's inside. It gets wet. I made these things to put under cars. It can get wet. <laughs> Even by cop standards, this is sloppy. Maybe they wanted the them to barrels. see the tracker. They have trackers on the outside too? I don't know. Probably. Maybe Lydia put the tracker there on purpose um, as a means for Mike to stop contacting her so she could um, like she could stop getting uh, she could erase herself from all the records or erase herself from any connection to this. I reckon Lydia did it and it's a sloppy job like Mike said. I reckon if we're going off sloppiness and clumsiness this episode, Lydia's the prime suspect. You didn't check any of the other barrels. I think she's going to no, get another visit. That's from the only one we could have taken, according to her. Mike. You know, once we spotted it, she freaked out. I put the barrel back and we fo The person who spotted this, was it you or was it her? Lydia, she saw it first. Be getting another visit. Okay. <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? Lydia planted this thing, not the cops. Let's go. She's thinking if she makes it look like her inventory is being watched, that we'll leave her alone and take our business elsewhere. Let's She's go. Right. We will be taking our business elsewhere right after I leave her alone in a ditch. Oh, oh hey, shit. Hey, if the DEA is not tracking her stuff, that's a good thing, right? I mean, all we got to do is tell her to, you know, cut the crap and keep the methylamine coming. You don't know this woman like I do. I had a chance to deal with this before and I gave her a pass. It's what I get for being sexist. Now, if you excuse me. <laughs> Mike, you can't just... Look, that's our precursor. We need her. Kid, if we have to ramp down for a while, so be it. It beats working with a lunatic who's going to get us arrested or killed. Look, she, she didn't seem crazy to me, you know? She just seemed, like, uptight. And now you're being sexist. Trust me, this woman deserves to die as much as any man I've ever met. <laughs> wow. But wait. Is she that bad? <laughs> Come on. Wait. What if this really was the cops, you know? And what if you're wrong about her? I'm not wrong. Jesse, your misgivings have been duly noted. Now move away from me. This is a voting thing. I don't think so. I vote. It's a voting thing. Mr. White, way in here, would you? What do you think? <laughs> Mr. White. This has been one of my favorite episodes of the entire series. The methylamine keeps flowing no matter what. We are not ramping down. We're just getting started. <laughs> Nothing stops this train. Nothing. 
That's straight hey, villain That's talk why. right there. That's straight like kingpin talk. Hey, I just wanted to say I liked your idea. Yeah, it's pretty, uh... Jesse's just going with the flow. <laughs> I think it's the way to go. Oh, hey, um... Like I said, it was your, your birthday, so... Is that a Rolex? I left the receipt in the box in case you want to exchange it. Anyway, hey, happy birthday. <laughs> hey, that's another fine addition to the collection. Another accessory for Heisenberg. His character keeps getting upgraded. Danger entering 51, is it? Or 50 on the cup, on the mug. I'm sticking. I can finally breathe. I can finally breathe. What an episode. Wow. But listen, I, I feel like at the time, like now, if I think this is sensational, like just imagine what's to come. Just imagine what's to come. Like that was a beautiful episode of television, like a fantastic episode of television. Like so good man and like i've paused enough already this episode um to talk about certain things and i don't want to continue to ramble on at the end i just want to say this show is phenomenal and i hope you guys are enjoying these reactions i really hope you do are, en uh, are enjoying these reactions and having a fun time with me but yeah i'm gonna end it here as always been your boy moses take care god bless peace